when I put on the Ngāti Pro women's jersey, there's nothing better, like, to me, that's more important than a black ferns jersey, because I'm playing for my iwi. You know, here wee Ngāti, wee is a type of weed um, that is local to Ngāti Pro, and you can't kill it. You know, you can remove it from wherever it's from, and it'll just continue to grow. That's the spirit of Ngāti Pro woman, like a wee To some, rugby is just a sport. But for the ropu of Wahine driving Ngāti Paro East Coast women's rugby, it's so much more. The vision that we have for our Ngāti Paro Wahine is, and what our kaupapa is about, is about growing strong whānau, growing stronger whānau on the coast, and the vehicle that we use is rugby to do that. The pō of the whare most of the time is the Wahine, the māma, and we seem to always put ourselves last. So rugby is a time where we can go and be physically active, we can be in a, 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 in a group with other wahine where we uplift and inspire each other. Most of us involved in rugby today, we come from a legacy of proud Ngāti Pro rugby players. My grandfather was a Lucy and prop Ngāti Pro East Coast rugby. Cheering them on, I remember thinking, man, that, that would be the epitome for me to be able to wear a blue jersey. I didn't in my wildest dreams ever think, I'll be able to captain that team. When you're ready. In 2015, during Shyla Typer's time as a teacher in Hicks Bay, her students put out a challenge that would help kick off women's rugby on the East Coast. We got tunneled to by um, our students because we were kayaku at the time at Kawakawa, and a couple of our students tunneled to us to um, curtain raise the men's finals, Rangi Ora Kila Memorial Shield finals. And we, we scraped up a team of, for sevens game for Hicks Bay Women's against Tokararang because those were the two teams in the final. We had a game of sevens and we, we won. We had to because we were playing our students. And that was sort of the birth of women's rugby on the, um, on the coast. Off the back of that game's success, a women's sevens competition was launched. In 2019, the Ngāti Pro East Coast Women's Tens competition began with two teams, Tehiro Victory Club and Hicks Bay Women. Today, it has evolved into so much more. Nine, ten years ago, from a, starting from humble sevens to now a 15s comp with four teams, it's just, it just makes my heart so happy. We spent about 288 kilometres from the two most distant clubs. We all know that the price of fuel isn't going down. For us to be able to sustain a club rugby competition, I think that just speaks for the pride and the passion to be part of the women's rugby movement. Ngāti Pura. Rugby is in the blood when it comes to Ario Rewi, playing rugby since she was five years old. Now, she is Ngāti Pro East Coast Women's Rugby Development Officer, the captain of the Ngāti Pro East Coast Women's Team, a part of the Referees Association, and coached and played for Ruatoria City this year. It was during one of these games in July that her life drastically changed. I woke up with a really bad chest infection. Oh, I have epilepsy, so I can't afford to get sick. We didn't have the numbers to be able to progress, so I took the field and played the full game. I was feeling quite sick throughout the game, and after I tapped my mate on the shoulder, who was managing for us on that day, I was told her, if I fall to the ground, have a seizure, she took me on my side and pulled me off, so that we could continue to play the game. I woke up in the morning and I couldn't breathe. Um, this was during the ambulance, while in the ambulance, Ario would have multiple seizures. Her life was on the line. The Eastland Rescue Helicopter Trust was called in. The last seizure that I had on my way to the helicopter, I couldn't come back from it, so I had to be incubated and put into an induced coma so that the machine could breathe for me. My lungs had given out. Hooked up to life support, Aro was flown from Tepoya to Waikato Hospital. They ended up having to go to the um, intensive care unit at Waikato. Woke up there with an incubation tube in my throat. I thought I was a feeling 
pretty, pretty bad. I was able to be moved to the ward and then gradually been able to fly back to Gisborne Hospital where I am at the moment. The slowly recovering. Despite her circumstances, Ario is determined to captain and make her 10th cap for the Ngāti Pro team. They've given me a month before I'm allowed to play rugby again, but watch this space. I'll be out there in the sky blue next game, I'm sure of it. And she wants to continue to be part of rugby for many years to come. Look at supporting the kaupapa in a different capacity. Maybe referee, do a bit of coaching. I want to be a nanny on the sideline watching my mokopuna play rugby. If I don't look after my body, I'm not going to make it. The kaupapa around the East Coast Women's League extends beyond rugby. Ka tū pākari te pau o te whare, you know, ka tū te whare, you know, ka taka te pau, ka taka te whare. So that was like one of the metaphors I would explain to the wahine last year when we, um, when we put together our visions and our dreams and our goals. Because, yeah, it's, we love winning, we hate losing, but it's all this good stuff that we're getting on the sides, all the benefits, whether it be physical, whether it be spiritual, mental, being good role models for our kids. And these positive changes aren't only evident in the women's teams. The kōrero and the culture is changing. Our men are getting up and talking about how it's awesome to see our whānau out there, see our kids. Oh, you know, we're going to put a wedo out to our clubs, no drinking, let's just go home and chill and recover. Like, for that to come out of our men's waha is like, wow. You know, because that, that was the culture. Both Ario and Shaila agree the future is looking bright for women's rugby on the East Coast. And I'm just really proud to every woman who's taken the field this year. Those, those wahine are instrumental in creating what will be um, a very competitive, a very high-skilled women's club competition in years to come. Renee Lolly here, Local Focus.